Hey everybody, it's Brock again, E6 Swine and Cattle. Just thought I'd make a little video today while I'm driving 10 miles an hour. I am hauling feed for the hogs back to the farm, uh, 4,000 pounds of corn beans. Just wanted to talk about our feed and how we do this, and I'm going to try to hold this camera still on this bumpy old road. But uh, anyway, the hogs get. Uh, corn and soybeans and most people you know they're like oh corn bean roundup blah 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 right well here we've done it we go about it a little different everything here is uh, non-gmo and we don't feed bean meal we roast the soybeans instead and then we grind them up with the corn so it's a non-gmo and the, and the bean is roasted it's not uh smashed and the oil extracted and all that no we cook it and uh, the feed smells, the, the best way I can describe it, feed smells almost like peanut butter. And the hogs love it. So, <clears throat> why do we do uh, non-GMO? Well, my partners in, the, in this business, Paul uh, Kriego, Nelson Schuff, they're crop farmers and uh, they've always grown conventional corn. They're also no-till farmers. Nelson's been no-till since 1979. And uh, he's, uh, they're both, all about soil health and without healthy soil the food that is produced in that can't be healthy Synthet synthetic fertilizers and plowing and all that if you can't you know uh, field tile sucking the water out you know those are all just addressing symptoms to the problem they're missing the, the bigger picture so uh, we like to do the non GMOs people like to know that their feed is a uh, non GMO I've, I've really uh, noticed how people are super happy when I tell them that they don't necessarily seek it out but they are all they're all on board when when uh, they find out so like two years ago Nelson decided to grow some conventional soybeans instead of the roundup ready so he did like like 12 acres or something but anyway those conventional beans yielded as good or better than the roundup readies so the light bulb came on. So this uh, previous year, 2018, they uh, Paul and Nelson grew a bunch more conventional beans, and we're and we're happy with the results. So that's uh, it's a win-win all the way around for them. Less input, <clears throat> and it's a, and it's an input. It's a win for us because there, you know there's no glyphosate grains being fed to any of our animals. So if they don't have glyphosate residue, and you consume that, then you don't either. So glyphosate in your belly, uh, you know, I'm not a doctor or a scientist and I'm surely not going to claim to be, but what everything I've gathered and read up on and watched, glyphosate is a chelate and it bonds to metals. And when you get glyphosate in your stomach, it disrupts the bacterial fauna in your gut and it impedes your ability to absorb minerals in your food. So it's a double whammy if you think about it. If you're eating, uh, you know, Roundup Ready uh, grains, which is in cereal, you, know, you go to the store and anything, you know, high fructose corn syrup, I mean, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. So if you're eating food that is not, you know, as healthy as it could be, not nutrient dense because the soil it's growing in is not nutrient dense and it's not alive with, my, you know, microorganisms and earthworms and the ability to hold water if that soil is dead and it needs synthetic fertilizers to grow anything what's that tell you what's the nutrient density of that plant it can't be very good but now feed that's grown in nutrient dense soil which is then fed to animals and we consume that protein we win 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 not lose lose so that's what i uh wanted to say today about our feed and why we do what we do i'm driving but i'm on a back road and i'm going 10 miles an hour and i haven't seen a car so i'm about to pull out onto a main road so i'm going to shut this down and uh just thought i'd make a little video today continue the uh, introduction into the stuff we do take care youtube be good to each other